brothers, welcome to day 11. Week three already, can you believe it? I hope you've been challenged. I hope you've been encouraged. I know I have. Uh, And so today, I want to continue with that challenge and that encouragement. But we're going to shift just a little bit because I am hoping that today that your perspective on being a husband, on your wife, will open up a little bit further. That you can see her even better, even more the way God sees her. Today we're looking at 1 Peter chapter 3, specifically verse 7. I'm going to read this real quick. It says, Husbands, in the same way, live with your wives in an understanding way, as with a weaker partner, showing them honor as co-heirs of the grace of life so that your prayers will not be hindered. Now, I want you to read this verse a couple times today. Think about it. We, we can't unpack all of it in just a short video. But there's one thing that I want to bring out. It's so important. When he says that your wife, to live with her, to honor her, is her being the weaker partner. Some versions say a weaker vessel. What is he saying there? Now, is he saying, as I've heard before, and it's a, you know, there's, there's all kinds of misunderstandings today of the roles of husbands and wives, men and women. They're getting turned around and flipped upside down and all kinds of stuff. But we want to know what God has to say, right? So what does God mean here? What is he speaking through Peter? That our wives are these weaker partners. Does it mean that they're uh, less significant than men? That that she is not as important and, you know, there's this We have to put up with them, all this stuff. No, not at all. That is not what God is saying. Uh, I've heard some say that it's because overall, overall, not every case, but men tend to be physically stronger than women. So that's what he's saying here. I don't think so. I don't think that's what Peter is meaning. When we look at the entirety of Scripture and how God views men and women who are equally important in his eyes, equally precious, right? But we have different roles in life, and that's what we need to understand. So what does it mean that your wife is the weaker partner? I think it goes right along with Proverbs 18.22 that we looked at and so many other scriptures, that your wife is an invaluable and precious treasure, right? Like this delicate, fine work of art that you are to take care of, that you are to guard to protect, to honor. Remember, your whole goal in this life as a husband is to cheer your wife on into her relationship with her ultimate husband, Jesus. That when it's all said and done and we stand before the Lord, that you did everything you could to present your wife to Jesus just as you're being presented to him, right? As the spotless bride, his church. But on this earth, we get to do that. We get to have this treasure. (laughs) Our wives, that we get to... Um, yeah, we get to enjoy, we get to love, we get to spend time with and do all of this stuff with. But, but ultimately, we don't want to keep her for ourselves and hide her away like this treasure that's just for us and be greedy. We want to, to just encourage her on in her relationship with Jesus. To take this treasure we've been given and say, Lord, this is your treasure. I know you're just letting me hold on to it for a while. That's your wife, this amazing work of art that God has created. The meaning of the word delicate means very fine in texture or structure of intricate workmanship or quality. And it is something that can be easily broken, easily damaged. It's fragile. Men, listen to me. The words and the actions that you convey to your wife, the words that you speak, have so much power. The power to either lift up and encourage and build up your wife or you can tear her down and destroy her. What you say to her matters. What you do in this life matters. So how are you looking at your wife? Do you see her as, well, she's just physically weaker, not as significant, you know, she's a little out there, whatever. Or do you see her the way God sees her? that she is a fine treasure, an amazing gift that you've been given to take care of, somebody that you can can influence and and build up, um, encouraging her in her relationship with the Lord. Or you can tear her down. You can can break her spirit. You can can 
hinder that relationship with the Lord. Because as a husband, you have that kind of influence. Just, and she has that with you too in many ways. But we're talking about our responsibility as husbands with our wives. So consider that today. On this day as we're moving into week three, we're going to really dig into some stuff this week. Read that verse today. We'll probably talk a little bit more about this tomorrow with some different uh, aspects of it. But today, consider that. How do you view your wife? Do you see her the way God sees her as this amazing treasure you've been given? Brothers, I love you. We'll see you here back tomorrow for day 12. Let's get after it.